Once again, greetings everyone. A couple of weeks ago, I was traveling to a certain place and I needed to get on a highway to get there. But luckily, I had been listening to the radio and I heard that there was an accident on this particular highway right near my house and uh, the tractor trailer had gone over and it backed up traffic on both sides of the highway for about 30 miles and it lasted for a while. I had to get to where I needed to get. And so I tried to figure out in my own mind, gee, you know, I know where that exit is. Now, if the accident is there, I think I usually get on the highway here, but maybe if I drive around and I get on the highway here, I can bypass the whole mess and I'll be able to get to where I want to go immediately. So I did the calculations. I tried to figure it all out. I saw the map in my head and I proceeded. Pulled onto the ramp, pulled onto the highway, stopped dead in my tracks. I drove right into the accident. Huge, huge accident. My calculations were all wrong. I made a big mistake. And as the end result of my big mistake, I sat there for a good, I was there for about 20 minutes and I didn't have a whole lot of 20 minutes to waste. I made a mistake. I miscalculated. I didn't do what I thought I was going to do. I didn't do what I wanted to do. The readings this day are about mistakes. That first reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Doesn't that name have a nice ring to it? A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. And if you listen to the readings, it really is Daniel kind of hitting the nail on the head, saying in his own words, Lord, we've made some mistakes. Lord, we've gone in the wrong direction. Lord, we've made some bad choices. We're shamefaced. We are sorry. We have sinned. Please, Lord. If you would, would you deal with us with compassion and forgiveness? Would you please offer your mercy and forgiveness? And the Lord does. But it was so important for Daniel, who at this point in his own ministry is speaking for all his people, to stand before God and say, we've made some bad choices. We meant to go right and we went left. Can we start again? And God said yes. Jesus, in the gospel, takes it, he takes it one step further. Jesus always does. He takes it one step further, and he reminds us of something that I think is so important for us to be mindful of, especially during this Lenten season. We have more control over the world than we think we do sometimes. We really have a little more control over our own lives than we might think we have. Because he says, if you don't want to be judged by other people, don't judge them. If you don't want to be condemned by other people, don't be the first in the neighborhood to condemn them. If you live a life forgiving people in your life who really are sorry, you'll be forgiven when you're really sorry. And the way he ends is so important. Let me repeat the whole line again. A good measure packed together, shaken down and overflowing will be poured into your lap because the measure with which you measure will be measured back to you. Do you know we in the, in the 21st century have turned that, that into an everyday idiom? Let me say it one more time. For the measure with which you measure will, in return, be measured to you. Do you know what that gets translated into, into everyday English? What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. If you want good things to come back to you, put some good things out into the world. Be aware of people's needs. Be aware of people who need mercy. 
Be aware of people who, you know, life has dealt them a bad hand and they're always being judged and condemned. Don't make it worse. Be the one to kind of stand up for them. Live a life of forgiveness and forgiveness will be yours. Give gifts. Be a giving person, and that whole giving attitude will come back to you. Gifts will be yours. My friends, you and I have such an opportunity this Lenten season to take the time that we need, which is why we really can say, and it's true, that Lent is God's gift to us, because it's not a time to condemn yourself for anything. It's not a time to judge yourself. It's a time to look inside and to be like the prophet Daniel. Where in our lives have we made some little mistakes? Because maybe we've been a little too judgmental. Maybe we've been too willing to condemn people. Maybe we, maybe we haven't been as giving as, as we could be because we've been afraid to be giving. This Lenten season is a time for you and for me to look at ourselves with Jesus ever by our side and kind of polish things up. That's really what Lent is about. It's about polishing things up. It's about looking at yourself, knowing that you're loved by God, who only wants the best for you, who's willing to grace you with his presence if we just open our hearts to that presence. In a very real way, we are reminded on this day that if we do just keep our eye on Jesus, if every day we look for opportunities to be Jesus to someone else, we'll never judge, we'll never condemn, we'll always be merciful, we'll always be forgiving, we will always be giving of ourselves to people in need. And what will come back to us is the same. And we will find ourselves being as happy as the God who loves us really wants us to be.